Making sure that your child is safeguarded against inappropriate content while having fun on their PC is very straightforward. In this film, we'll show you how to set up Windows Family Safety, setting up your child's account so they only have access to appropriate games, sites and content, and also how to make sure they don't download anything they shouldn't. Firstly, please make sure that you have applied the latest updates to your copy of Windows and ensure your antivirus protection is active. It's also advisable to install Microsoft Security Essentials from the Microsoft Download Center online at this web address. Just do a quick search in the top right hand search bar for Microsoft Security Essentials, click the link marked Microsoft Security Essentials and click Download and Save. This will help to protect your PC from harmful viruses and malware. Next, you need to make sure that your own account is set up as an administrator. This means that you have total control over the system, its accounts and its security. If you're unsure whether or not your account is set up as administrator, you can check this by clicking on the Start key in the bottom left-hand corner. Clicking on your account picture, going to Change your account type, and selecting the Administrator option, if it isn't already highlighted. From User Accounts, you can also set up a password for your account by clicking on Create a Password so that your children cannot access your account when trying to log in. Once you've followed these steps, simply go to windows.microsoft.com. Search for Windows Essentials in the top right-hand search bar. Click on the top Windows Essentials link and download Windows Live Essentials. You'll be able to choose which of the specific programs you wish to download or update within the Windows Live Essentials package. So, just make sure the Windows Family Safety box is ticked before you proceed. Once you've successfully installed Windows Live Essentials, do a quick search for Windows Live Family Safety on your PC by clicking the Start icon in the bottom left of the screen and typing Windows Live Family Safety into the search bar. Opening it up for the first time will give you the opportunity to enter your Microsoft account details. If you do not already have a Microsoft account, such as Hotmail or Outlook, you can click here on Sign Up Now, which will guide you through the steps. Alternatively, enter your account details and you will then be given the chance to create a new standard Windows account. Click Next and enter the name of the child you wish to monitor, effectively setting them up with their own account. Match the new child's Windows account with the appropriate family safety member in the drop-down menu to the right of the name and click Save. It's a good idea to give each child their own account and password as it makes monitoring their online habits much easier. Also, try not to have any guest accounts on computers the kids might be using as they may try and use them to bypass their own settings. So, once the new kids' accounts are complete, Thanks to Windows Family Safety, you will see that it has already restricted access to adult sites and turned on activity reporting on each child's account. You also have the option of clicking through to your online family safety account to tailor more specific security settings for your family members should you wish to do so. By signing in with your Microsoft account, you can use facilities like Activity Reporting to check which sites your children have been visiting and how long they've been spending there. And for even greater control, you can use the Web Filtering slider and Allow and Block options to define which websites you are happy for your children to visit and how many hours each day they can spend on them. By tapping on time limits and using allowance and curfew, for instance, you can define how many hours a day your child can spend on their device, and also whether they can use it past their bedtime or during school hours. And as you can't always be there in person, if for instance your child is trying to view a block site that will help with their homework, they can either call you in and get you to approve the site on the child's computer itself, or they can send you a simple email request which will allow you to check the new page and then allow or deny permission remotely, meaning you can carry on making sure your child is secure online if you happen to be stuck at work. Skype is also a great tool for keeping in touch with each other, but it's important to remember that it can also be open to abuse. 
With this in mind, if you do allow your children to Skype, it's important to make them aware of the Report Abuse button should they encounter any inappropriate behaviour, and to only share their Skype details with people they already know and trust. To do this, simply select the contact you wish to block. Go to the Conversation drop-down menu. Select Block, and you will be given the option to Remove from your contact list, and also Report Abuse. For more information on how to help protect your children on your PC with Windows 7 and family safety settings, head on over to this website to find out more.